Welcome to Coag in the Wild. My name is Doom Cutie and today we have a spectacular video for you. All the footage you're about to see was filmed over the time that Confessions of a Gamer Girl spent at South by Southwest in Sydney. There were some incredible teams there displaying games, tech and a myriad of other things. We spend the majority of our time focusing on creating content for the gaming portion of the um, incredible festival that went over seven days. It was an absolute honour to talk to these women and it's a pleasure to be presenting to you the very first episode of COAG in the Wild. Uh, so my name is Luella, I'm the Games Festival Program Manager for all of South by South by Sydney. Um, so the showcase that you see behind me was curated by myself and my team um, and we've built it out for the entire week and it's insane. So yeah, that's what I do. What a flex. It's flex, it's exhausting. <laughs> it, it sounded good when I got the job and now it's the most intense, incredible experience that I could have ever had. So I love it, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's good. Uh, and what's your favourite thing about working in gaming? I got to play 400 games this year. Not to completion, but to get into the showcase, we had to test and trial all of the games that we had. So we literally sat down and for days on end, like weeks, we played through as many games as we could to see if they could qualify for our uh, huge showcase. So that was that was one of my favorite things. Can, can you tell us your favorite one? Okay, so there's this game called Bilkin's Folly. Now I love all games, <laughs> it's like picking a favorite child. But so there's this game called Bilkin's Folly. And it's going to showcase at the Eddie Multi Space this week, and it is outstanding. It is heartwarming, soul just searching, beautiful game where you are a boy and your dog, and you're finding treasure. And it's more than that, but it is just so so beautiful. So Bilkins Folly was my highlight, um, and that's yeah, that's my favourite. I love it so much. I love it. Yeah, it's good. Oh, thank you so much. Um, do you have any advice for anyone who would like to get into the field that you're in? Um, yeah. I think it's a really weird field to get into because you kind of fall into it. It's people, you meet people and you talk. I think it's about integrating with indie developers in your local area, mm -hmm. learning what events they're going to, supporting them as much as you can. Everything that we do is about supporting independent game developers and making it so that they can come to events like this at no cost um, other than travel if they need to and be able to support them. So go to their events, um, meet them, ingratiate yourself into their communities. That's the kind of kind of the way to get into the games industry, I think. Become known and, and be friendly and help. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. Hello. Hi. What is your name and what do you do in gaming? Uh, my name is Jordan Bastian. I'm the operations manager of game for South by Southwest Sydney. Very... I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is the boss lady. Okay. Um, what's your favourite thing about working in gaming? Um, it's the devs, the Apple.com devs, and how excited and passionate they are, and how they're creating new and exciting formats for games. But just the passion and getting to work with them. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for all the work you do. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. <laughs> that was really easy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> what is your name and what do you do in gaming? Uh, my name's Yasmin, and I'm running the Eddie Multi Space. But I actually am a did the industry, I just run events. <laughs> Events in the industry are important. I know, I know. Yeah, <laughs> Otherwise we wouldn't get, like, this. I know. <laughs> My little pride and joy. So. Um, what is your favourite thing about working in the games industry? Um, I think how diverse it is. I definitely have, like, zero knowledge on games, and I think when I'm looking at all of this, it's just so impressive, and I couldn't even imagine, couldn't even, like, begin to describe how they do it. And it's so impressive, and like all these young people here yeah. today, it's just like crazy. 
So that's definitely my favorite thing, just being around it, like seeing people be so passionate about something, it's so, so nice yeah. to see. So yeah. Amazing. Thank you. No, thank you so much. Are you going to follow me? Oh. Okay. Hello. What is your name and what is your role and what is your game? Hello, my name is Sam Cable. Um, I am one half of the team responsible for the game Copycat, mm -hmm. um, and our studio is called Spoonful of Wonder. Spoonful of Wonder. Okay. What's your favourite part of uh, being in game development? The constant challenge of learning new things, um, and also because I come from a writing background, so mm -hmm. seeing the story develop and change over the course of time, but constantly going back and forward between your other developers to see what's possible story-wise versus like a standard script when you just write it and then pass it over to the film director. So games are a little bit more immersive in that regard. Yeah, amazing. Um, and so what is your official role? Yeah, yeah, I'm the writer um, the and writer. director, on the co-director of the game. Incredible. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for sharing. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, I, it's incredible, hello. Ha hashtag women in gaming. Hashtag women in gaming. We are, here we are. We are women and we are gaming. We, we love to see it. Uh, so I'm just interviewing women in gaming. Yeah. Around well, around the place. Around yeah. the joint. Hello, uh, what is your name? What is your game? Yep. Who do you work for? What do you do? Uh, Sarah McManus. I work for League of Geeks. Uh, we have two games that we are working on at the moment. Solium Infernum, which is a like political strategy game set in hell. And Jumplet Odyssey, which is like Sims and Space type vibes, where you're the captain of your ship. So we've got space covered and we've got hell covered and nowhere in between nowhere. but yeah. that's okay we live it we live we live important parts we live in the in between that's yeah cool. exactly we don't need to pretend that we're here you know no. that's why we play games right? yeah exactly exactly it's not being reality anymore <laughs> um what is your favorite thing about working in gaming um, that's such a good question. I, I started working in gaming this year, so I worked in music before this. Okay. And so I, I just enjoy in gaming how, like, how great everyone's hobbies are, which is a weird, um, I mean, weird thing to say, but that's the thing I've noticed the most, is that everyone has, like, everyone I work with, they all have their own, um, they're all incredible people, yeah. you know, and incredible, like, people at making games, but they all have the most fascinating and incredible hobbies, and I just... Like the, I love when people have passion for their hobbies, you know what I mean? Like one yeah. of the people that I work makes incredible masks, like someone else is an incredible woodworker, like it's just the, the amount of knowledge that everyone and passion that everyone in gaming has for like obviously what they do, but also just for like life itself, I find it quite beautiful. Amazing. Well, we love to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. That is... What is hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name and what is your game? My name is Dunya and our game is Trackline Express. Trackline Express, amazing. Yeah. What's your favourite thing about working in gaming? Hmm. Um, fixing bugs. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're fixers, for sure, yeah. definitely. So my husband works more, more on the dev part, and then yep. I work on the marketing and promotion part. Amazing. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Thank you. <laughs> what is your name and what do you do in gaming? Uh, my name is Lauren. I'm one of the hosts of the Board Game Barbecue podcast, so just talking about all things tabletop, board games, tabletop RPGs, anything that you can do sat around the table. Love to see it. Uh, and what's your favourite thing about being part of the gaming community? Ooh, I think just generally how inclusive the space is, how welcoming it is. Yep. It's definitely a community that has diverse representation and that's only becoming more and more apparent. It really is just really welcoming. It lacks pretension, I think, altogether. Yep. And really, I think a lot of people who have these hobbies sometimes feel like they exist on the fringe. But then when you engage with the gaming community, you can see, oh, wow, there's all these people yeah. who love what I love and can just find a sense of community in that way. It's amazing. Um, you mentioned uh, just before that um, for a lot of people, board gaming is a social lubricant. Uh, I really love that idea yep. that gaming can not only like entertain and educate but also just make things easier for people. Oh definitely and I think video games do the same in a lot of ways as well. I remember playing four screen Mario Kart hey, with my siblings growing up okay, or Mario right. Party <laughs> and it's just it's so formative yeah. and so social and so interactive and I think they're kind of like a nice leveler anyone can yep. engage in it your grand your parents yep. your kids it's just something that everyone can do and love yeah thank you so much yeah my pleasure what's your favorite thing about working in gaming 
Uh, I really like the people yeah. uh, in the industry because they're all so creative and fun. Like, I don't think you can find this sort of people anywhere else. And it's just fun. It's like being yourself, Amazing. working in gaming, yeah. It's doing something you like, enjoying that work you're doing. Yeah, oh, well, you can definitely tell that you're so passionate about it. Thank you. <laughs> um, and what is your game and what's your role and what's your name? So my name is Farah. Uh, we're working on a game called Weirdlets. It's a virtual desktop pet game. And I am the 2D artist for the game. So you can see like the cute animals. I drew them. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come closer, my dear. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Uh, what is your name and what do you do in gaming? Um, my name's Willow and I'm doing art and animation. I'm Lily. I do the lead. I'm the, the programmer. Hello. Hi, I'm Sasha and I'm the producer for this game behind us. Producer? That's good. Great. Fantastic. Love all your work. Love it. Um, what is your favourite thing about working with games? Um, in terms of art, just like problem solving, creative solutions to like the design and look of things, like like having to think about how things work in conjunction with other things. I don't know. I'm like, I'm absolutely not a coding person, so just like yeah. tr like it like doesn't interest me at all. Like learning to do it, but like having to like try and figure out solutions that like for art that works with it. I don't know, it's really fun. It's yeah. it's an interesting challenge. Yeah, I, I'm not a coder either, but I, I know when people think of like game development, they think of coding like straight away. And like there's so many other components that go into creating yeah, games. Yeah, for sure, yeah, absolutely. It's really interesting, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Uh, what about you? Um, well, I like the reward of solving the problem, but also there's so much so much expression in games, there's so much variety. Like this game is grotesque and kind of weird, but the other game I'm working on is super cute and like origami based. So there's just so much like, there's so much stuff you can do. There's so many cool games here, yeah. yeah. So many stories to tell. Yeah. Um, I really like just the organization and like the process um, of like any game really. Um, like, classifying things in order, um, seeing what happens on a day-to-day -day basis, like weekly sprints and whatnot. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> what is your name and what do you do in gaming? Uh, my name is Dana, usually known as um, Dana Banana. <laughs> I love that. Well, it's good because people pronounce my name as Dana. And so if I say Dana Banana, they remember okay. it and they remember how to pronounce it. Did, this is probably going a bit like left of field, but like, did you decide that or did your parents decide on that no, pronunciation? No, my sister, my sister did. She oh. called it, you know, when I was little, called me that and it's oh. just stuck. And I found that people, you know, call me that and they remember my name that way. I'll never forget. So, yeah, that's it. Dana Banana. Yeah. Dana Banana. Uh, and what do you do in gaming? Um, well, I'm just a, a stay-at-home mum, really. Um, but I love board games. But I'm part. I've just only just joined. You just this joined. Was, yeah. So this was my third podcast with love the board that. game barbecue. But formerly, mm -hmm. um, I was actually just a volunteer with the board game barbecue, and I used to help at game days. Yep. Um, just teaching other people games, introducing them to board games, and. Mm -hmm. I just loved it, and I've, I've always loved the people yeah. that I've met. They're just so... I mean, look at you. Oh. Everybody's just great. <laughs> Everybody's just great. Like, it's, it's yeah. been fantastic. That so. way, you, you know, you jumped the gun. Uh, I was going to ask you what your favourite part of gaming, and you just told me it was the people. Yeah, it's the people. Yeah. Yep. Is it the same for you? Oh, no one's actually Sorry. asked me this question back. Uh, for me, yeah, sense of belonging, mm. a purpose. Yeah. Uh, it's really, uh, it feels like it feeds the soul. Yes. Oh my God, it is like that. Yeah. I tell you what, it's so good for mental health or yeah. whatever. It makes me feel good. Because I, I live in a small town. Yep. And yeah, kind of limited to the kind of um, people that I get to meet. Mm. But then I get to go to these awesome things like South by Southwest. Yep. Shout outs. Yep. Um, 
and I, I get to meet so many mm. lovely, amazing people from the stay-at-home mums to you know your software engineers. It's such a there's such a wide range of people in board gaming, I, I, and I really believe that the people that I've met through board gaming, I never would have met them in my life. Oh, for sure. If it weren't for the board games, yeah, sort of thing. I, it, it, I think if you've got children and you're doing school runs and shopping yep. and groceries and whatever else like mums do, mm-hmm. um, there's only a certain group of people that you get to meet. But this has just opened my eyes to a whole new group of people and I've, I've really loved it. It's been great. Mm. I'm a mum too. Are you? Yeah. I have two little girls. Oh, that's great. That's why I have an all-female gaming podcast. Yeah. I want them to... I want them to do whatever they want. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah. They must think it's great that their mum has a podcast. They must be so oh, proud yeah, of you. Like, mum, mummy's um, mummy's going away for her podcast. Yeah. And uh, oh, that's so wonderful. I bet you. In a second. I know. They, they're going to be really proud of you. I'm, I know. Yeah. That's hey. Hi. Hello. Oh, Hello. the fan is doing the most. Uh, what is your name, and what do you study slash do in gaming? Um, my name's Shakira, and I'm studying game design at RMIT, and I'm uh, mostly artist, that sort of thing. Love that. Love an artistic girly. I can't draw for... anyway. <laughs> Very similar answer to uh, Shakira here. So my name is Laurie, I'm also doing a games design bachelor at RMIT University, and I'm focusing more so in the artistic side. Okay. Hi, my name is Alicia, I'm from Malaysia, but studying in RMIT as well. Um, I am in the game design as well as programming side of stuff. I love female programmers. <laughs> You're all hot as fuck. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite part about being in the gaming community? Um, I think my favourite part is just seeing all the different games that I've seen, like all the independent developers and yeah. that sort of thing. And being able to, I guess, collaborate with a bunch of different um you know, people in the industry, well, not in the industry yet, but you know, you hope are. to be. You are in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. Amazing, love that. Uh, I think it's just because it's so versatile. There's so many things you can do. If you want to focus specifically on uh, programming mechanics, you can do that. If you want to do a more artistic side, you can do that. If you want just a fun, stupid little game, you can do that. If you want something dark, uh, deep, emotional, heartfelt, can do that there's just yeah. so many things you can do with so many different people and there's always people willing to create something i think that's really special yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely for me it's more so like the interdisciplinary yeah. that it has so you have people in the industry from like a wider range of background not only from like the game design background but there's also people from like neuroscience people from astrophysics yeah. that comes into the industry and like wants to create games with you wants to share this experience that they have with you for like the game, not only the gaming community, but the gamification of everything else as well. Yeah. Love to see it. Thank you so much Thank for you. answering my question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite part about working in games? Just being able to meet a lot of different people, um, hearing about their interests, hearing yep. about what type of games that they like. So <laughs> it just brings me joy to see what other people are doing. Amazing. And what's your game called? Our game is called Peglin. It's a pachinko roguelike RPG. So basically you hit some orbs. It's similar to like pinball. And then the more orbs that you hit, or the more pegs that you hit on your board, the more damage could be um, done to the monsters on the top of your screen. Amazing, I have to check it out. Yeah, absolutely, thank you. Hello. Hey, (laughs) what's your name and what do you do in gaming? Uh, My name's Lauren, I'm a game design student at UTS. Amazing. And uh, what inspired you to study gaming? Uh, Just uh, playing games. My dad used to play games with me, like Age of Empires, um, and seeing some other people do the degree, and I just wanted to make my own games. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, good. What's your favorite thing about working in gaming? Uh, working in gaming, you get to create experiences for other people to enjoy it and to have fun with. Yeah, amazing. And what's your game? My game is Aluri. It's a hand-drawn 2D platformer about rescuing endangered animals. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. And what's your role? My uh, role is the um, lead artist and designer. Okay, so I'm studio lead as well. So. Incredible. Yeah. Well Thanks. done. I can't wait to play. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello! Hello. <laughs> uh, what are your names and what do you do in gaming? 
Um, so I am Emily. Um, I do game development and programming. Uh, so I'm Naomi and I do 2D art and um, UI designs and stuff. Hi, I'm Donna. I'm the 3D artist. Woohoo! Would love to see it. And um, you are from UTS? UTS, yeah. And, oh, and, and more tape. And more tape. And tape? And UTS. And UTS. <laughs> love to see it. Shout outs. Um, I was down in the Red Bull um, gaming hub. We, we did the podcast episode yesterday there. Oh, very slay. Slay. <laughs> slay. Uh, and what is your favourite thing about the gaming community? Does anyone want to... Is this on me now? Oh, I was just going to say, like, they, they've always given yeah. really good feedback. Like, yeah. um, working on this game, we've had so many different um, experiences and different feedback from um, just, like, general, like the general public. Yeah. Um, and also, of course, the gaming community. And they just... They always think outside the box, and it's really great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love it. Uh, I think just the friendliness, the openness. Yep. And, yeah, again, like, with the criticism, it's so easy to ask for criticism and give criticism like that it's just so I feel like it's a lot more open comparing to other yep. industries but I haven't been in other industries so we don't know oh, that's just your experience so far and that's yeah. totally valid no yeah 100% I think the inclusivity I came into learning game dev having no programming background yep. anything like that and the way that everyone has been around to help me learn and bring me in and everything like that um has been really good and really nice and everyone is so supportive of whatever you make so it's really it's great yeah so good so like what would be your advice to someone who I don't know maybe they're like really young and they kind of thought about it or maybe like they started something else and they want to change like what would you say to them um as someone who did come from another background before this one just do it it's yeah. it's great it's fun yeah. I'd say the same thing yeah. get out there like don't feel afraid as well. I mean that's so easy to say yeah, but like yeah, yeah. I know like coming from being ang like anxious all the time like one of the things that just got me in was just networking and just be like no my work is actually pretty good and like yeah just having that confidence and just um, going out there and trying it yeah I yeah. would say if if you're you have the opportunity to do it and you're not going to be out on the streets then do it <laughs> but if you have to sacrifice your livelihood maybe okay you take care of you first <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like yeah I don't want to say just do it because you, you have like you know <laughs> within, within reason if you, if you want to and also you know you can take care of yourself yeah so, yeah very inspiring yeah. Very, very I'm honest. sorry but that's a dose of honesty you need no, to no, no, that's, it's, it's so true that, you know? it's so true like follow your dreams but like also <laughs> Um, if the hue fits, it's essentially a color theory game um, where you use complementary colors to fight off these zombies that have been infected by Dave Inchi's little paint mistake. Um, so you have your little crafting station here. Um, you get to mix your paints, make blue paints, red paints, uh, mix them all together, and you've got purple. Um, and yeah, like you go out into the world and you battle the zombies and cure them. We didn't want to do like a, a massive, like gory thing. We wanted it to kind of be something different. So rather than being, you know, blood and gore, we were like, let's let's cure them. Let's make them, let's make them human again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. The team here aspire to consistently uplift women in the gaming community and whatever events that we are invited to we will endeavor to provide you with insightful interviews with females in the gaming community from streamers to fans to industry professionals we want to celebrate all women in gaming and it's an absolute pleasure to be in this space. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you for the next episode of COAG in the Wild.